Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is the first time that you're coming across my channel, I just want to greet you by saying, hey there, hi there, and hello there. You are more than welcome to like this video, share this video, comment, and or subscribe. Whatever you feel that you need to do, I absolutely do support you in the energy. Nine times out of ten, though, if you're a part of our new Soul Tribe family, You've probably been sitting with your higher self. Maybe you're new on your journey. Maybe you're asking source to guide you to the right people, places, and things. And maybe you just need clarification to make a determination about your life. Well, welcome to spiritual court. There's a 99.9% .9 chance that you're going to pick up something that belongs to you by way of information. My hope for you, my prayers for you and or myself is that you can discern the truth see the truth, hear the truth for what it is, and then have enough courage to apply it to your current situation. For whatever that's good for, hold your higher self accountable as your higher self is holding you accountable. Nevertheless, I support you in the energy. But if you're returning back to the channel, then baby, you are my beautiful, wonderful, amazing Soul Tribe family. I love you so very much. I thank you all for being here. Thank you for your love, your support, your beautiful prayers, your kindness. Just your pure, genuine nature is so beautiful. I am eternally grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, baby, listen, come on in here and get this spiritual word. What's going on under this moon? This last moon, these synchronicities, y'all getting the 12? Are you getting the numbers, the 12, 12, 12, 11, 12, um, 22 12 23 2023 come on now the portals are open what do i mean by portals i mean divine portals those portals of people trying to open up and or wreak havoc by way of sending you uh evil eye spirits monitoring spirits that stuff is over and or done with i'm gonna say it again it's done son stick a fork in it it's done son it doesn't exist Whatever you're imagining, if you're still getting some of the remnants of that energy, just be patient with yourself. It is falling away as it should, and everything is unfolding as it should by way of destiny. It is happening right now in real time. It has already happened, okay? So let's just go ahead and dive into this energy, divine source of all things, creator, mother, father, you who amaze me by your workings through nature. I humble myself before you in your presence and I call on you, O creator. You have given me this gift of foresight, all the clairs I can hear, I can see. Father God, just show me how to use this gift here for the divine collective on this public platform. May these prayers reach the entire globe and may they reach every single healer, star seed, light worker, light bringer, people that are genuinely doing that spiritual work working for you divine so moldy be listen angels i need to know what it is that you want us to know and or see on this day channeling current energy ooh, ooh, ooh. i just heard the portals are open oh we what portals might you ask the portals of justice libra energy is coming out real hot baby something about before the end of the year things are being made um to be balanced out I just heard the numbers have to be balanced out by way of spirituality. Show me what it is I need to see, please, and thank you. Two of Wands. Something about going to a distance, walking away, Two of Wands. So for those of you that are still in situations where you feel as though the environment and the energy is not, um, how can I say this, calibrated <laughs> with your higher self by way of your calling, you're going to get out of this situation. You could have been waiting on a certain opportunity and or just manifesting um, a way out. And this is coming to a wands. I see people coming into balance by way of the soul tribe. You know that the time is now. There's no more time to waste. I just heard eight of cups is you twerking down the yellow brick road gladly being obedient to spirit with justice. The two of wands and the eight of cups on your side. Everything is working for the greater good of the soul tribe family. Thank you, spirit. No longer can these situations hold you back. Four of pentacles, 
You could be saving your money, your resources, being, um, you know, frugal, wise. You're surviving the holiday season. A lot of people get amped up around these holidays and they overspend. And by January 1, it's like, oh, shoot. Yeah, listen, you got to keep it real with yourself and your circumstances. Four of Pentacles is telling you, one, to hold back energy, time, space, and resources so that you can be in a good position to get to this Two of Wands at a distance, I'm getting. And Eight of Cups on that ass, meaning twerking down the yellow brick road towards your destiny, okay? Because whatever you were supposed to get from these circumstances, that time is over. That's why justice is here. So if you're still in a circumstance, unfortunately, okay, um, and you're still having to balance out some of those polar opposite energies, okay, again, that don't resonate with your spirit, spirit is saying to be patient, loving, and kind. As you leave this place, even though it is slightly i'm just getting energies y'all that you like oh my god i gotta get out of here i gotta get away from these people leave that place in peace love and light because they need it they're gonna need it when that tower falls when you walk out of the building if these people don't get it right the building's going to fall that's justice okay so spirit is saying even though we're caring loving and kind you cannot feel sorry for these people i'm gonna tell you why because these are circumstances that have to go they were stumbling blocks if you will uh, these were blessing blockers. They have to be removed in order for you to walk your divine path. Unfortunately, there are casualties in spiritual war. So don't feel bad. Leave them with peace, love, and light so that peace, love, and light meets you on this Eight of Cups journey, okay? So it goes a little something like this. When you leave, you look around, you take it in, you smile, you cleanse the area, you leave it clean. If that is your space, was that your room? If this was your house, whatever it is, you leave it in order and you leave it in a way that you press peace into that house so that whomever comes into that home will get some type of peace. Now, if for whatever reason, there is no peace there, there will be no justice. There will be no balance and your peace and your love and light shall return unto you. But by doing that, what you're doing is you're opening up this portal of divinity to go before you. And you're also sending peace to go ahead of you, to meet you at your new location and or by way of your journey and your destiny. It's a beautiful thing. It's like peace. Peace goes behind me. Peace is happening right now. And I send peace to go before me, to meet me. No matter where it is that I go, it's giving my foot, my steps are guided. My footsteps are guided. The Most High says, I am helping you. Heavy on this Piscean energy, you're realizing that something um, has come to an end, okay? You're no longer feeling stuck because of your imagining faculty. You know that you can imagine yourself to be somewhere else. This is really like um, giving me... Uh, wishing upon a star type of an energy, you know, like, you know, that no matter what the circumstance is by way of the environment, you can wish yourself into a new environment mentally. This is a gift. Okay. Somebody is seeing themselves already in their future self happy. And so somebody's completely disconnected from the environment that they're currently in. <laughs> if there's nothing to connect with, that you feel resonates with your spirit by way of family I'm getting, people, places, and things. You've imagined yourself already into a new existence and you're quite detailed. You can see what you're wearing. You can see what you smell like. You know. You know what it is. So spirit is telling me that these monitoring spirits are under judgment. These minions, these flunkies, these, you know, hellhounds, whatever people send out to spy, page of swords, energy, that whole thing is being brought to balance. Those things, those people, those places, that energy is what I'm getting. People wanted to see what you were doing because they wanted to steal your secrets. Somebody's trying to figure out, well, how are you going to get out of this? Or are you saving money? Or, you know, people are just kind of being nosy so that they will know, um, God forbid, what to pray against. Well, it's not working. The hangman is here. You know that your time is up. The hangman gives me, well, you know, I've, I've had my time here. Yeah. You're taking a sleep of faith. Even if you got to leave with the clothes on your back, you're gone. You're trusting spirit in a way that is really going to yield some beautiful, infinite possibilities. I promise you, with every step that is taken in faith, okay, being obedient to spirit, spirit is saying, I am strategically placing people on your journey, angels to meet you along your path to help you just walk, just go. The fool is here. Okay, somebody's confused about how you're doing this. 
They don't know how you made it out. They don't know how you're going to make it out. Somebody's completely in confusion. Somebody that wanted you confused, okay, is now in confusion. This is return to sender energy. The moment you went within and you imagined yourself to be somewhere else, okay, just prime example, just on a real commercial break, y'all. It's like when I meditate, right? I travel, you know, I've been everywhere. People are like, oh my God, have you ever been out of the country? Well, yes and no. <laughs> now, spiritually, heck yeah, I've traveled. I've traveled. This morning, I was in Jamaica on a beach. The, the water was so blue, baby. I was meditating in all white, baby. Yes, I, listen. I was there, honey. I could feel the sun beaming down in between my eyes. Okay, come on. Talking to the spiritual gurus, the ascended masters, masters, God self, listen, by way of divine rights. So in that, you have manifested something by way of your imagining faculties that the universe is saying it has to happen because you've imagined it down to the very detail. That's like when I was sitting on the beach, baby, I had white toes, white nails, a white head wrap, white. I had like this white flowing, you know, <laughs> I'm not one for exposing my body, even though I have a nice body. I don't, you know, I just feel like why, but that sun. Now, when I'm on my private beach, then I'll be naked, but I'll know that it will be surrounded by, by something that gives me that privacy, right? Outside, but I'm inside kind of thing. Nevertheless, this is what we're talking about by way of what it is that you see, right? Being what it is that you want to be. Because again, the dynamics of being here in this world, once you ascend to a certain level, you are not required to be the same person twice. So what does that person look like? What does that person sound like? What do they smell like? Imagine that down to the very detail. Engulfing all of your senses by way of the imagining faculty is how you're getting out of this in the Eight of Cups. Okay? You will find yourself in the life that you could only dream of and imagine. And you absolutely did the King of Cups. King of Cups, every time I see the King of Cups, you know, I think about emotional responsibility. Emotionally balanced. Um controlling one's emotions by way of loving on oneself and understanding and being real with yourself. When I think of King of Cups, I think of psychic abilities. I think of dream state. I think of somebody that loves himself so much that they can love other people. They understand balance. So you're loving yourself enough to say, I'm taking a leap of faith and I'm going to bet on me. Ooh, we thank you, spirit. Anything else we need to see, honey? Six of Cups, baby. Oh, okay, listen. Whatever this past life soul connection is, baby, the dots are being connected. The cords are being connected to two new people who have cut cords from the past. Listen, Six of Cups, honey. This is a past life soul connection. Wherever you're taking this leap of faith to, not only are you taking a leap of faith into your destiny, who you know that you need to be at this time, who you're conceiving yourself to be at this time, walking away from the current environment, or maybe this is something that you've already done because justice is here by way of balance. Libra and energy is always going to be vital no matter how you look at it. Shout out to the Libra gang, gang, and gang, gang, and mother freaking gang, and gang, gang, and gang. Listen, be careful with me. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing? Listen, <clears throat> was that my note? Was that my note? Be, 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 be careful, be careful. That was, was that my note? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'll find out later. Listen, better, better later than sooner or sooner than later, however you want to spin it. But the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups is here, baby. This divine love is coming in. Something is just inevitable. You cannot miss this love because you are loving on self. You have somebody else that is like spirit is guiding your paths together, okay? Because you walked away. This is so interesting because it keeps coming up. It keeps coming up. King of Cups, Queen of Cups is a beautiful union. This also represents just being around people who are emotionally balanced. Even if we're not romanticizing this union, 
um, which I do see a lot of balance by way of divine couples for 2024. I mean, it's in the numbers, it's in the stars, it's in the destiny that this is just what it is. A lot of energy is being released so that the two of you can be pure coming together. What do I mean by that? Polarities, okay? Any energies that you've harnessed in your uh, solar plex area, divine feminine, are being transmuted into light and or released. It's giving me the Virgo energy, almost like, you know, um, it's almost like becoming a virgin again. And when I mean by virgin, I mean by spiritually being untouched, a heart that has never been broken, a service that has never been violated, right? A seal that has never been broken and vice versa for whomever this is. But listen, the fool is saying to take a leap of faith. There's no fear here. It's a fearless energy, okay? Show me what else I need to see, please, and thank you. Archangel Michael, what is it that you want me to know? Seven of Cups, okay? There's a lot of options, which is good. These are good options. Because what I see by way of the Seven of Cups is that all of the cups are full. Still purging, though. Five of Cups, okay? So that's okay. It's a process. Be patient with yourself. Still purging, um situations you know things that you thought were you know were going to be a part of your life forever you now have to let go of but this too soon shall pass the five of cups is grief okay there's been some loss here from two people that will come together and or soul family because queen of cups king of cups is giving me soul tribe energy seven of cups is having a lot of options okay in love and stability uh, location I just heard where you want to be where you want to live so be very very specific about what it is that you want I think this five of cups is so vital by way of mourning loss that what it's yielding is a level of gratitude who am I talking to five of cups is grieving loss regret right but in that, because you are taking this leap of faith, because you're going within and loving yourself, it's like this level of gratitude for what it was that you were able to let go and what it is you had to go through to get to this pristine, optimum level of love and kindness and peace within yourself. It has been manifested within. And so the outer world is now responding to your, in <coughs> oh, excuse me, your inner self. Oh, wait. This is exactly what I'm getting. Throat chakra energy. Speaking the truth into yourself. Speaking peace and pouring into yourself is what I just got. I got a little tickle to my throat chakra. Oh, wee. What else is it that we need to see? Yeah, Knight of Cups. These are good offers coming in. Okay. Nine of Cups. Wow, y'all. This is beautiful. The moon. I feel like while you have people that are wishing something under the moon, their wishes are not as big as your wishes. You're understanding greater is the goddess or the God that is within me than the ones that are outside of me, than those that are in the world. This is what I'm getting because the moon is saying that, yeah, somebody's still lurking beneath the surface. Maybe that's why I had that tickle to my throat chakra. Somebody doesn't want you to speak the truth or see the truth or see your own value. I feel like it's too late. You've awakened. We've awakened to the level that we see ourselves the way that the divine sees us. We are, we are, um, we've agreed and answered the call. <laughs> you know, when they say many are called, few are chosen, you answered the call to be used by the divine. And so in that comes great protection and or amnesty to whatever somebody's trying to wish under this full moon. Whoever this lustful energy is, Knight of Wands wanting to come in. And again, it doesn't have to be a fire sign. You know, this could just be an energy, a non-committal energy. Somebody doesn't want you to speak the truth. I'm getting like something around the throat. Somebody's like, no, they don't want you to speak the truth, but they don't have any control anymore. They don't even have control over themselves, let alone trying to come along and control you. The cords have been cut. There's absolutely some debris here. With that five of cups. So spirit is saying to continue to cleanse. Continue to stay in a high vibration. Continue to manifest all good things. And see them very, very clearly. And to make time to breathe. Ooh. 
Make time to breathe and make time to meditate by way of your manifestations. Nine of Cups, listen, the Nine of Cups is telling me all of your wishes are going to be fulfilled. Every single good thing that you are wishing within yourself, most high bless our hearts, you're manifesting it. It's already done. This is why you're getting glimpse, a little glimpse here and there because it's already finished. Nine of Cups, whoever this Nine of Wands is, they want to come in and make some type of an offer. But again, they're not spiritually tall enough to ride this spiritual ride. You know how you go to the amusement park and they have you stand up against those little lines, right? To determine how tall you are. I feel like the universe is looking at this person and they're determining how tall they are by way of their karma, by way of their past endeavors, by way of whether or not they like themselves or love themselves. <laughs> and the universe under this full moon it's like, mm -mm. whatever you're trying to speak over the situation, you're not even spiritually tall enough to ride this ride that we call the divine feminine, divine masculine. You can't even come near that energy. It's far too high vibrational. Baby, listen, this is not to demote you. As you've done to yourself time and time again, this is only speaking actual facts. That you absolutely are not up to par. That's just a fact. No shade. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is not ego based. This is factual. Somebody needs to go and do that work. Somebody's more concerned about the outer world. The outer whatever. What you're doing. And here you are going within. You're a completely different multiverse on the inside of you and who you are. Oh, we show me what I need to say. The wheel of fortune is here because look, you're at the top of the wheel. The universe loves your gratitude. I just heard an attitude of gratitude yields beautiful possibilities. Listen, somebody needs to obsessively compulsively declare and decree on every single timeline, realm, and or dimension that I am well, all is well for me and my soul tribe family. That is the incantation. I don't even know, even know if you want to call it an incantation. It's an affirmation of what's already done for the soul tribe in this 2024 energy. That absolutely is something that we need to hold on to. I declare and decree that all is well for me and my beautiful soul tribe family. That our hearts are as light as a feather, that the universe fills us and is backing us on every single beautiful endeavor. So mote it be, it is already finished again on every single timeline, in every single spiritual realm. There is justice and judgment being made fair for me and my beautiful soul tribe family and our beautiful counterparts and our children's children's children children on every single dimension forever, ever, forever, ever. Listen. You got that power to speak it into the atmosphere. Why not be specific? God forbid we say, why not? We're going to say that it will be, and it is, and so it is. <laughs> Listen, show me what I need to see, angels. RJ, Joe Michael, please. With that. I need to ring the bell for that. Listen. I call it the bell, baby. I'm supposed to make sound, but listen, I use it as I need to. It works for me and it clears out the energy, whatever that that needs to go by way of regret and all of that. Because I'm picking up this person's energy, you know, it's a lot of projection. <laughs> so whatever that was, you know, we're going to call it, you know, something that we don't resonate with anymore. And we'll just baptize that situation as a blessing, as a lesson. And now moving forward, again, you got the five of cups and the four of cups. Okay. So that resentment, that regret, I really feel as though this is something that we are still purging under this moon energy by way of Mercury retrograding, coming down. Mercury did a retrograde spin, baby. That was one for the spiritual books. You better put some respect on Mercury retrograde's name. Okay. But this four of cups, okay. You know, disappointment, regret, going within, purging that out, allowing truth in that space in order to release it. 
is really, really a good thing for you. Some people didn't want to go into that cavern within themselves because it was so painful because of what you had to experience. But now you're going in with them in a way uh, like uh, with this courage, you know, with this courage and this gratitude for the pain. Why? Because you're looking at your wishes being fulfilled and you're looking at a beautiful life and you're like, wow. And you're being about your father's work and you're doing something to help all of humanity. If not just being in a good vibration, it is affecting the atmosphere. I just heard our energy covers the entire globe. So going within with that regret, whatever that is, it's still, you know, it's like a little pinch of it there, right? You're leaving people in peace. These are people that, again, you thought you would be with for a really long time and or forever. But now those contracts have been denounced. The universe is making it so. And I just hope that we've all left people behind in a better place than how we found them. What they do with that energy when we leave, all that goodness, all that love that they needed so badly that they wanted to rob, kill, steal, and destroy. I pray that they do the right thing with it. What they do with that is up to them. Because I feel like we were really great examples, even in our you know, imperfections, even in our mistakes, we were great examples of what love was by way of being patient, loving, kind, caring. At times you could have just spazzed out and tore up the whole house. You decided not to. At times you went and apologized to somebody, not because you were wrong, but because you just wanted to bring balance by way of the energy. Listen, that four of cups and that five of cups, there's gratitude in that. There's gratitude in releasing this regret because everything that you're seeing by way of foresight is so good. And there's an attitude of gratitude for all things. It's giving me, it's all good type of an energy. Somebody can't tap into your energy anymore. And that's okay. Show me good, good. Show me what's good, Archangel Michael. Yeah, the magician. Listen, you've alchemized all of these pol polar opposite energies. Okay. All these weird ass silent competitive efforts. You know, your heart is as light as a feather. You've gone within, you understand the dynamics and or the schematics of divine order. The magician is here. You're creating a new self, a new you. Some of you probably don't even sound the same. And when I mean sound the same, I mean by way of what you're talking about, what you give attention to. You have a completely different mindset and this is why you're yielding all of these amazing, beautiful possibilities. It's like the blessings just keep pouring in. When they say your cup overflows with blessings, love and kindness, this is what I see for all of us because we're ready for it. Yeah, listen, three of swords, the heart has healed. Thank God the three of swords is in the upright. Because this represents healing. This represents, you know, I'm willing to heal the heart of the matter. To not run from the shadows, but to consume it in a way that I know that it's a part of me. But all is well, right? That understanding is vital, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Archangel Michael, show me what I need to see. Yeah, the hermit, baby. We're coming out of this hermit energy. A lot of us had to go into isolation to protect ourselves, to protect our energy. Hermit in the reverse is letting me know um, that we are coming out of hermit mode. Okay. It also gives me the energy that somebody was really afraid for you to realize your value. Somebody did not want you to go within. Somebody wanted to block that psyche. But this for me is more 3D energy. The hermit in reverse is like you're coming out. Yeah. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Got to let it show. Yeah. I'm coming. Listen, this is giving me I'm coming out. This is I'm I'm going to the party. I'm going to the networking events. I'm going to meet my soul tribe in real life, 5D, 3D. Because again, remember, there was a lot of isolation, paranoia spells done on us to try to affect our psychic abilities. 
now that that has since been reversed, the illusions have been dismantled and or eliminated, you're coming out, you're getting out. Remember, a lot of these people wanted to lock us away. They didn't want people to see our beauty. They didn't want you to go within and manifest your own beauty within yourself or feel worthy because they didn't feel worthy. A lot of what they did to you was because of who they were. It had nothing to do with who you were. Again, I'm getting your imperfections are perfect. You are an earth angel. Anything else we need to see? Yeah, the Hierophant. Listen, the magician and the Hierophants, you're a spiritual teacher, leader here to create a space of love and light for those people that are truly ready to do the work. As difficult as it was for us to accept that people would be left behind, it is no longer difficult to accept that. So the Four of Cups and the Five of Cups is not really your energy anymore. You've kind of, you know, again, you've purged that out. You're using the moon for what it's supposed to be used for, which is to purge out the energies that you no longer need and or to manifest. How many of us cried under that moon cycle? Did it not feel good? I was crying tears of joy. Just because of the people that I'm meeting that I really feel are genuine. And even those ones that just kind of passed through that had ingenuine um, intentions, I'm even grateful for them <laughs> because I'm like, I just feel like there was something there to get from that circumstance, a lesson, right? But again, they were passing through and then the universe just lovingly just led them away from you. Because whatever those moments were, whatever those temporary situations were, there was something to get from it, right? So it's all good. Attracting all things that represent the energy that you are embodying and that is love and light when people are watching and when nobody is watching. So now you've eliminated this weird ass silent competition. Your haters are silently becoming lovers, hopefully of themselves. I say the person that gets up under your skin is the one you need to learn the most from. Who we show me what I need to see. <laughs> you are the empress. I wouldn't be surprised if the emperor comes out because this two, 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 four, 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 and the five, 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 five energy is so good. It's just, it makes my heart smile. I just hope I get invited to a lot of beautiful weddings in 2024, like all expenses paid for everybody that needs to come. I just hope I get invited to be there to witness this eternal love and just beautiful marriages of people that are going to be together forever, ever, forever, ever, because the divine is covering them. There's honesty, there's loyalty in a world, you know, where ethics and tradition, uh, you know, had somewhat, you know, needed to be resurrected. It had been forgotten. Let's just be, let's just be honest. Yeah, it had been forgotten. The world was saying, oh, it's okay. You sleep with him, sleep with her. We all sleep with him. Like, hold up. Why get married? Marriage is not for everybody, but for those people that it's a part of your destiny, I'm really happy about that love. Like, you need to know that your soul tribe family is happy to see you in love. Ooh, healthy partnership. You know, you can turn your back. You ain't got to worry about your sister queen trying to rub up on your man in a disrespectful way, but she sees him as a brother. Come on, y'all. The Empress is here. Why? Because you're beautiful. You're radiant. You're nurturing. We're nurturing. We're caring. We're loving. We're kind. We're healers. And we've learned how to heal ourselves. We learn how to lay hands on ourselves and go within and heal every single fiber in our loins, in our bodies. And we learn how to purify the energies around us. And we did it in a way that was so beautiful that the universe is like, okay. You got it. What is it that you're asking for? Wishes being fulfilled. The Empress is loving, caring, kind, beautiful, radiant from the inside out. Right? You know, the world gives all of us these tools, makeup, hair, whatever. Okay. Aesthetically on the outside, we could all be beautiful. I'm going to keep it real. 
But when that inside is in order, that light is um, radiating vibrantly from the inside out, it's the type of light you can't touch. It's the type of light that cannot be stolen. It's a gift from the divine. It absolutely does affect the physical body. Your bones start to feel better. Your body starts to shape up properly and you know, your hair is all shiny, your eyes are all bright, your teeth are all white, and it's all because of the energy that is resonating. I just heard from the bone structure. Ooh, we come through spirit. Listen, of course they want to come into that light, but a lot of people are getting blocked. Your light is not to be squandered and or given to people that do not understand the magnitude of divine intervention, divine purpose, and or birthright. You are the Hierophant. What else do we need to see, Spirit? I'm seeing kingdom spouses, marriages. Yeah, you got silent competitions, especially for those of us that are on these uh, public platforms, y'all. You got people that are just pissed off because they're not you. They don't know who they are. They're mad because they're too busy comparing themselves stop comparing yourself to somebody else <laughs> excuse me this is what makes somebody oh somebody is upset that i'm getting this out baby oh we meet the goons at the door though because that throat chakra didn't tickled a little bit too much do i need to clear it out me 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 what else do you think your voice is for me 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 i call light to my throat chakra <laughs> and so it is so listen somebody don't want to come out but just as i said there's somebody that's got some evil eyes on everybody's platform okay somebody is like a big bowl of gumbo soup this download just came in the middle of all this beautiful energy let me just tell you what i see somebody's in silent competition five of wands they're mad because they don't know who they are they're taking a little bit here a little bit there tr and trying to build a them a build a boo and go within going outside instead of going within that has nothing to do with you can continue to radiate at an authentic nature at an authentic level by way of your truest spiritual authenticity Is your energy irritating these people's demons? Absolutely, but they can't touch you with a 10-foot pole. They're trying, though. Somebody's spending a lot of time trying. And the fact that they can't get in is forcing them to go within. Where else are they going to go? If somebody continues to knock on your door, you know what's going to happen? The universe is going to make it so where they're sat down by the universe, sat down by spirit, that they have to go within and look at themselves and really ask themselves, like, what the heck is wrong with me? Because you know what somebody's realizing? They've spent a lot of their life trying to take you down and you're still sitting in this Empress energy and you're still sitting in this Queen of Cups energy and you're still the higher font and you're still getting the Wheel of Fortune. You're still the magician. Like, listen, manifesting as you should. Somebody's really looking up like, dang, I've been doing this for a long time and this person is still shining. Yeah, they've lost a very good chunk of their life by way of trying to take you down, by way of being dedicated to something that would have never manifested, not for you at least, but it's absolutely manifesting for them. Okay, so as the hermit is here and you're being seen, we're attracting all good people that understand the divine plan. They're coming in. I just heard something wicked goes that way. Wherever that way is, I'm sensing karmicville. And something good is coming in for you. And the universe understands the ebb and flow of energies. Whew. The universe is doing this part. Spirit says you got to do yours. Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> Again. Is giving me. It's giving me past investments, good karma, good seeds. A lot of us are forgiving ourselves for what it is that we did not understand and know. In being that new person, you know that you have to give some respect to what it took to get to this high priestess level. Isn't this car beautiful? Isn't she beautiful? I don't know who this is, but honey, this is, this is a queen. This is somebody's goddess queen. Listen, if not just for herself, this person belongs to the universe and the universe loves her. 
I love this art. I, I bought these cards or I don't know where I got them from, but the art is just amazing. I love it. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at this queen. This, I look at the cards. I'm like, this look like my sister. <laughs> is that my sister? Yeah, that's my sister. I love these cards. Somebody made them with love. They had good intentions in making them. And I'm very grateful that I received them. I received them with a level of gratitude that they're beautiful and they're telling the truth. I'm just happy about it. But nevertheless, listen, always the more, you know, the universe is saying, say less, do more by way of your intentions, good intentions, raise your vibration. Yeah, whoever this king of wands is, y'all, okay, this is a boss, this is a leader, this is us using passion. King of wands in the upright is somebody that understands their responsibility to not only themselves, their family, but the people that look up to them and seek their wisdom and wise advice, okay? So somebody that you left behind could have been a knight. And again, I feel like you left them better than how you found them. They're, all, they're absolutely growing into being this king. And this was always the prayer, okay? Yeah, your prayers got answered. It was an unselfish prayer, right? That somebody would become the best version of themselves for themselves, even if you weren't meant to spend life with them. You want to leave them better than how they how you found them because that is the Queen of Cups, King of Cups energy and the Empress energy. We work for the divine, right? Now, some people, I don't know. <laughs> you left them with love and light and baby, it's a wrap. It's too fini. The world is here. Doors are being closed. Spirit is saying you did right by be, getting into this King of Swords energy. You did right by closing these doors by way of being wise and intelligent. You did right. You held your own. You held your ground. You stood at your post. You were strong. You were smart. You were wise. You cut off everything that did not work for you. And again, along with that, and the biggest misconception is that you had to let go and cut off an old version of yourself. Okay, you learn how to work that kindness. You learn how to use that gift, you know, that genuine nature. You learn how to pour into cups that were pouring back into you. Temperance is giving me love and kindness, peace, equal admiration, temperance. Just like with this King of Wands, the Sagittarius energy, you know, the Sagittarius energy is uh, in the upright, okay, in decent and in order energy. It's all about life passion you know it gives me shango energy the life of the party enjoying life enjoying the fruits of your labor food good people good energy king's energy balance love temperance two of cups and now that you understand that energy you are pouring this into a cup that is deserving and it's equal admiration. It's two people that love each other equally because they love themselves in totality. And by way of saying, I love myself, I and the father are one. It is the love for the creator as well. This is beautiful. I just heard... I never knew love like this before. What a surprise. Cause I never knew love like this before. I opened my eyes. Somebody woke up. Somebody woke up. Somebody started to see loving myself is really what it's all about. And again, I can't say that we never didn't know how to love. Spirit is saying something about, you know, um, balance is what it is. A lot of us overgave. A lot of us gave to the point we damn near got taken out. God forbid. God absolutely did forbid it because you had a destiny to walk. Yeah. Equal admiration. Reciprocal energy is what I'm getting. Things are coming into balance. 2024 is about balance. 
you know, having people around you just as nice as you, having people around you that are just as loving and kind as you, having a, a partnership with somebody that loves you just as much as you love them because they love themselves first and they love the creator. The sun is here. Joy, peace, love, kindness, happiness. Yeah, it's yours for the taking. You're happy. Things have been illuminated. You've opened your eyes. The love that you always wanted was the one that you're finding with the person in the mirror. That's where love always was. And if you look into your own eyes, you're going to see a whole nother world. It's a whole different universe. You are a universe all within yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So the apologies and, you know, people that aren't doing well, they're coming, okay? They're already apologizing by way of the ethers. Page of Cups, apologizing, Four of Swords is, is them being sat down by spirit. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Somebody that thought themselves into a karmic cycle. But they have to stand accountable. Because you're giving off a loving, forgiving energy that somebody knows that whatever they did to you, tried to send to you, it just, it just, it's not working no more. It wasn't right. They have to admit that. They have to stand accountable. Yeah, 10 of wands, it's weighing them down, but they have karmic cycles to go through. They got to eat a lot of that energy, y'all. This is why spirit guided us to be out of the way. Anything else that I need to see? Strength. Leo energy. Yeah, two of pentacles. That two, two, two is so good. That two, 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 so good. That two, 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 so good. Something about balance, strength, power. Yeah. You were honest with yourself. You're continuing to be honest with self. Because you know that moving forward, that is the only thing that is going to sustain you is the truth. Oh, we come through spirit. Archangel Michael. My right eye is getting a little blurry. So somebody's still trying their hardest to spy on you. Yeah, they're sneaky and deceptive. Seven of Swords. They're being blocked by the universe. Somebody's still trying real hard. It's like watching a movie. You know, that you've been watching all your life. And then all of a sudden it stops in the middle of the movie. And then you're like, whatever happened? What is the ending? What happens? This is how somebody feels. They can no longer see you. I just heard they don't have keys to the spiritual doors anymore. The realms and or these portals that they had open. Wow. Whew. Yeah, they're weighed down. Somebody's weighed down, y'all. Okay. But again, this does not mean that we're getting this information so that you, God forbid, are curbing your enthusiasm. You absolutely will not. You shan't. You won't. It is done. Somebody's weighed down, though. Just reading the energy. Don't shoot. I'm just the messenger. <laughs> Somebody was very immature. Ten of Wands, they're way down. They did something to your children too. Somebody's way down. Because once you realize the truth, you were able to report that directly to source and call judgment down on the situation. So now that judgment has been called, somebody can't wiggle their way up out of this energy. Ace of Swords. Somebody is like being reminded of what it was that they did. And that's the truth. And now it's putting them in the Nine of Swords. Because not only are they being exposed for what it was that they did, they can no longer tap into your energy, okay? No longer confuse you about who you are because you know thyself. And they're losing it. Nine of swords. Somebody's not sleeping at all at night. And when they do go to sleep, they could be having dreams about you. 
nightmares, dreams of you being somewhere else. Somebody's dreaming and seeing in their dream how you're with somebody else, new people being celebrated, really just having a good life, nine of swords. This could also be a mother figure somewhere that's just losing it. Yeah, five of pentacles, people that you left out in the cold. Okay, so they're going through something real bad. Somebody really put up a bad wish. It's a tower. It's a tower. Somebody knows that things are coming into balance. Somebody knows that it's coming into balance. They understand that the universal law is not going to not bring things into balance. Wow. The emperor is here. King of Cups, Queen of Cups, Emperor and the Empress. I've been getting it for the past couple of days. Death is here. This is probably one of the biggest deaths, transformations, and rebirths that we've all ever experienced to this point. 2024. 2023 is bringing it into balance. Your enemy has been deemed powerless. Ooh, honey, honey, baby. Judgment. They want to come in. They want to make these offers. These are family members. We're, I mean, you, you know the story. It's redundant. Let's just be honest. Judgment is here. Okay. Somebody is looking at you, how you recovered. You're so, you're, you're like put together. Somebody could be working on their body, healthy, just looking good. Nothing like what these people tried to put you through to dismantle your whole situation and your gifts. You don't look like nothing. Queen of Wands is very, very attractive to the King of Wands. This is you and your spouse, your partner. Every major arcana is on the board. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Empress and the Emperor, come on. Energetically, Spirit is telling me that this is what the energy is. Even if these cards don't come out as I'm flipping them, this is what I'm getting. Judgment is here. That Libra energy came through with the scales. My eye came through and was like, okay, what's good? You going to catch this spiritual work or are you going to catch this spiritual work? Listen, she said, I'm not asking you. <laughs> That's not a question. That's a statement. You about to catch this spiritual work. As, as divinely being orchestrated by the creator of all. So nobody really is in a position to have any issues with that as you step into this abundance. The reason why you're able to manifest it is because it's already done. Who am I talking to? The reason this good life is coming for you is because it's already done. You're getting visions of what's already finished. Yeah, I can't make it up. Queen of Pentacles. Listen, it's all kinds of stuff here, child. We can go on and on and on and on forever. People are weighed down. They don't know what to do. They want it to affect your, you know, you've healed too, okay? Somebody could have sent some real serious death magic sickness spells. Whatever this is, somebody was really trying to take you all the way off the map and out of your destiny and out of this world and you healed. And somebody's angry because you healed. the outcome spirit <laughs> just four of wands six of wands victory this is what spirit is saying with all that was said with all that was done with all that was thrown at you you took it you alchemized it you ate it you st are still standing in an attitude of gratitude you don't have an attitude of anger and resentment you're like it's all good i'm gonna take that whatever whatever four of wands you got a perfect beautiful home your home is happy, your family is happy, your children are happy, your spouse is happy with all that you've had to go through. So with that four of cups and that five of cups, that's you learning to stand in an attitude of feeling deserving of all good things. Knowing my children are well, my children are safe, my children are protected, my husband is safe. I am well, my husband is protected and everything that I pray for my house, everything that I pray for myself, 
everything that I pray that is good, that is coming into us by way of peace, love, light, loyalty, divine energy, the most high is covering all of it and the universe is backing it. Everything that I pray for my house, I pray for in my soul tribe family's house. And so the prayer goes out powerfully as being declared and, and, and decreed in the ethers that it's reaching the entire globe. That's what it is. Six of Wands is a victory. You're going to celebrate. Two of Pentacles is giving me wedding. Two of Pentacles is giving me balance. Two, two, two. Soul tribe energy. Soulmate energy. Three of Cups is like a party, a wedding. Okay? Yeah, Six of Wands is a victory. Not only are you uh, celebrating, you know, this new love, you're just celebrating the victory. You're celebrating your destiny. Okay? Yeah, you're celebrating that the courts have been dismantled and or destroyed permanently. Wow. This is the message, though. I thought I wanted to... You know what? I wanted to pull from... Where are those cards at? Not in there. Hmm. I wanted to pull from my Namaste cards. Just to see what spirit... Okay, y'all. Y'all like this little drawer? Isn't this cute? I don't know if you can see the artwork, but this was a gift from the universe. Isn't that nice? I needed something to store my cards, but I pulled the drawer all the way out because of my nails, and we just got to keep it real, okay? Y'all my family. You know what it is. Ain't nothing fake over here. Ain't nothing phony. We love each other for who we are. But I love the namaste cards. I love them. They're so great. Oh, my God. Let's have a namaste break. Namaste. Na, 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 na. Namaste. Namaste. Oh, la, 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 la. I love you so much. Namaste. Mm, 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 mm. Namaste. Okay, that's enough. Listen. <laughs> Let's just see. What is the namaste energy by way of the angels? What is it that they want us to know, honey? Something about the crystal clear eyes of the spirit. Them monitoring spirits is losing their mind, baby. They don't know what to do. They confused. They taking messages back. I just got that download that don't make no sense. They, they going back with messages and, you know, people like talking to these demons and they sit with them and they talk to them and weird stuff, baby. The polo monitoring spirits have been dismantled. They've lost their way. Their GPS is not working. The monitoring spirits are in a state of confusion and the people that have sent them are in confusion too across every single timeline, realm and or dimension. That's just so. That's just what it is. That ain't even a prayer. I'm just seeing facts. This is actual facts. Okay, listen. What is it that the angels want us to know by way of balance, truth, love, light, purity, divine order? Angels, what do you have to say? What do these angels have to say? Oh, I feel like that card wanted to come out. Should I let it? Yeah. Yeah. It, you know what it says? It says hugs are free love. Oh, soul tribe. It says imagine what it feels like to receive a hug. Hmm. Now imagine what it feels like to receive a hug from someone you love. This is a huge difference. Just by imagining a hug from someone you love who is dear and special to your heart, you can feel the sensation of love coursing through your physical and spiritual body. Your body doesn't realize the person you are thinking isn't really there. It gives me your mind doesn't know the difference between what you imagine and what's real. So imagine all good things. A hug is a connection. Just like thinking of someone is a connection. Imagining a hug from someone dear to you can bring you a connection similar to if you were hugging your special person in real life. This positive connection will course through your body and help reduce stress. 
So this is the thing today, tonight, whenever you get this message on whatever day it is uploaded by way of whenever spirit tells me to upload it. A lot of this, these uh, messages for December have been pre-recorded. So if you notice that the scene changes, my nails have changed. Y'all like, damn, Neff, you changing your nails every day? No, boo. A lot of this stuff has been pre-recorded, but again, I'm obedient to source. So they're released, this energy, this uh, reading is released on the day that you need it the most right intuitively being obedient to that so nevertheless this is the challenge for today tomorrow and forever really imagining a hug imagining hugging yourself hugging somebody else right can you imagine yourself in the best version of yourself wrapping your arms around yourself your higher self wow i just i'm imagining it and it feels really good, y'all. Yeah, I like that. Imagining hugging the best version of yourself. That gives me shadow work too, you know? When you go back into the past and you think about your, you know, six-year-old self, some of you can go back as far as the womb, honestly. Because there were things and energies around that womb too that could have affected your uh, spiritual stability okay but just imagining that you know when I imagine my six-year-old self when I imagine uh, those times where my parents were going through whatever they were going through because they were unhealed children is how I see them I see my little self sitting on my lap and I'm holding her and she's so cute She's so optimistic. She's so full of love and light before everything happened, before all this stuff happened. I see myself holding her and hugging her. She is always going to be a version of myself. So cater to your inner child. I'm going to get more into shadow work healing, y'all. I'm going to be doing some recordings for meditation. This is all to come. So just expect that. It is, uh, it's going to be on a different platform just so I keep these two uh, endeavors separate. I just feel like even though they're connected, there needs to be a certain space for us by way of just healing, only healing, meditation, keeping us in that good vibration. So the challenge, not even the challenge, I don't even want to say challenge because when I think of challenge, I think of adversities. There's nothing opposing our higher good at this point. It's all been dismantled, y'all, really. There are no adversities. And what appears to be an adversity is really just an illusion. Think your way out of it and move it out of your way and it has to go laugh at it. <laughs> just like that. Okay, listen. So moving forward, y'all, just so you know, family, prepare yourself, your vision boards. I'm going to do the same. Coming up for New Year's Eve, all right? Um, we're going to be doing those vision boards. They're going to be very, very specific. All you need is a cardboard. If you don't have a cardboard, get a piece of paper. If you don't have a piece of paper, just imagine it, write it down. Whatever you have, baby, you're going to use it, okay? And putting on that board exactly what it is that you want to happen. You are um, in a position where now you're holding yourself accountable and or spiritually responsible that you need to look at that vision board every single day. Now, this is the thing. This vision board is going to grow over the year, but every day for the next 365 days, we will obsessively, compulsively, deliberately, on purpose, no matter what the world is going through, because you know it's going to be a whole bunch of stuff going on in the world, honey. They're going to be like, oh my God, did you hear about such and such? Nope. I see it. I observe it. But I got to stay focused on what this is, right? Staying focused on that. But obsessively, compulsively, deliberately was what I was going to say. Focused on all good things. Intentionally. 365 days of positivity. That was a movement that I started 2019. I actually had a, a platform. Okay. And uh, something happened with COVID and all kinds of weird stuff. And I had to shift and I was going through an awakening and all those things. And so I, it's interesting because I had the vision of it being um, uh, something that I had manifested in real life, in real time at that time. But a lot of those visions were just visions at the time. Spirit is saying it was all about timing. But now's the time for it to be really, really present and or more obvious and evident in the world. So you're going to get, you know, uh, meditations. They're going to be short meditations, some of them long. 
I think something's real significant about eight minute meditations. There's something real significant about the number eight. So we're going to stick with the number eight for 2024. Okay. As above, so below infinity symbol. And there's going to be eight minute meditations. These are things that you can do before you start work. Uh, you know, before you get out your car, maybe go into work or start work. If you're starting a business or you're working at home, there's going to be lunchtime meditations, little things throughout the day just to keep you calibrated. Now, here's the beautiful part about those meditations. At some point, you're going to memorize them. Your body is going to memorize those meditations, right? To the point where you won't even need to turn on the video. You'll just be able to hear your own voice in the meditation, your higher self, and just go to that place very, very easily, right? That's the goal for meditation is to be able to pull from it from the inside, right? So as I'm meditating, the words that I'm hearing are going into my DNA. They're resonating with my inner self. And so now all I have to do is push that inner button and I can tap into that power, even if I don't have that video, even if I, 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 I'm not playing out, you know, what this is Auntie Neff is saying on this 365 positivity movement. So join the movement. <laughs> we still going to keep it a buck. We still going to be reading all these weird ass situations just so we stay on top of it. And we're aware that we're aware, right? But to absorb that energy, no, you're not required to do that anymore. Leave that energy where it is, whatever that is. That is not your energy. That's not your inner God. You're only resonating with people that vibrate at the highest level of frequency, just as you are. Because when you're holding yourself accountable, that's all you're going to attract, right? This is about having real spiritual contracts, okay? Seeing them for what they are intuitively, uh, you know, going with what resonates. No more confusion. Uh, confusion has been eliminated, yeah, I just heard that song. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all the obstacles in my way. Y'all like that? Way. <laughs> it's going to be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. I love y'all. I do. I hope you felt that because I really do love y'all. I thank you for all the love that you send me. I love you. I love you. Peace be with you. Shalom. Salam alaikum. Namaste. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Peace be with you.